Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, oh my God, this is a, a, a momentous day in history of this show. The first UK artist to be in person with me. Mm hmm. H, what up, bro? Yeah, go on, family, good. Yo, I feel like I've been talking about you for so long now. Mm -hmm. I've had artists on this show, in person and on Zoom, who I've talked to you about. And when I got the text early this week, right? Because I'm I'm leaving New York tomorrow. And when I got the text earlier this week from our guy, Kev, he's like, yo, I got this rapper H in town. I don't know if you know him. Second text didn't go off. I was like, bro, mm -hmm. you know what? You know, you don't have to say anything else. I'm already in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got to do it before I leave New York because this was this is important. This is a momentous occasion. Yep. It's your second time in the city. Yeah. I'm excited to have you here. It's, it's a post-pandemic world, kind of, sort of. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But welcome, man. I'm so happy that you're here. Have you been enjoying your time in New York? You're sick. But well, I only got here last night, to be fair. Oh, well, yesterday. Um, we got here last night, chilled, went and linked gigs. So, night in Jersey, somewhere in Jersey. Somewhere in Jersey. We kept we kept them UK vibes for the first night, you know what I'm saying? And then uh yeah, go up this morning. I'm out here, sick. I love New York. I loved it the first time I came and I weren't even old enough to do certain things, but now I am. Yeah, you were sixteen back then and now yeah. you're twenty one. Yep, so now we're 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 super super out here that's like the smile of someone who's about to go get really drunk after this interview <laughs> he's like he's like he's like when i say i'm gonna go do things i'm gonna see what the liquor situation yeah, yeah, in new yeah, york is about yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i heard you want to do some touristy things while you out here too 100 percent. i'm on all that central park statue of liberty okay empire state all that kind of things stuff. i've still never done in my life yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's like yeah. the joke in new york is like when you're from new york you don't do you, you know, don't you know yeah i hear that i hear that well I suppose I've actually already done all that when I came the first time. Oh, you did do all that the yeah, first time? Yeah, 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 but I do want to do it again. I feel like I can appreciate things more now, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I feel like sometimes when I go to all these places, usually I catch myself just in the back of the car on my phone <laughs> with my head down all the time. Yeah. And when I leave, someone asks me what was the city like, and I'm like, well, I don't even know. I didn't even look at it properly, do you know what I'm saying? So now I'm just trying to take everything in. Right. Man, H doing touristy stuff. That's mm -hmm. gonna be. I heard you want to do the bus too. I'm on, like you know, I'm the, on bus the bus, goes, all that stuff. Times Square, standing there, take a picture on the steps and that. Tag the New York, the Jay Z and Alicia Keys song <laughs> on the on the picture when I do it. All that stuff. And everybody in the UK is gonna eat it up. Yeah. And yeah, I'm gonna yeah. look at it. I'm gonna be like, Yo, shout out H. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, you know, what? as long as he's happy, he's enjoying his time. Just doing some regular shit. Have you had a chopped cheese yet, sir? No. Oh my God, what is going on? What are we doing here? I don't even what know do y'all do? You don't I know don't what a chopped cheese is? No, 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 no. Oh my God. Yo, can we get him a chopped cheese at the corner store, like around the way? Is that possible? Fire. It's incredible. Okay. You, and you got to have an Arizona iced tea with it. Okay, right? you That's, like iced tea in it? My, my guy likes iced the tea. Def the default drink, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be no more than like five, six dollars in Say no more. I'll try mm -hmm. it out. You know Literally, I'll try it out tomorrow. Write that down on your list. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Up, we need to do that. Uptown. You need to send me some stuff to do. I'm on everything while I'm here. As soon as we're done with this interview, I'm going yeah, yeah, to yeah, give yeah, you a yeah. bunch of shit that you could do. Definitely. But as being a UK artist and, and being on at least my show for the first time, like I, my audience is a lot mostly based here in New York and, mm -hmm. and America. And I really wanted to get your story to them because your story is pretty interesting because yeah, you, you were in college at one point, right? Yeah. And then you, you started, you were blowing up in, in college and then you left school, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah. how did this whole progression kind of happen? Um, I suppose one big long story short, it was just the thing of, I was spitting bars in school. People was fucking with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? People would come up to me in school with the earphones and say, look what I'm listening to. And it'd be my <laughs> little thing that I recorded on the iPhone or whatever. And then, um, yeah, college. Obviously, college and school is a bit different in the UK. You know what I'm saying? You leave school when you're 16, mm -hmm. and then you have the option to go to college or you go get a job or whatever. You do whatever. But So I went to college, um, still obviously rapping. And then I left college because I, I just couldn't do it. It just wasn't for me. I think I'd done like a year in college and then dropped out the second year. And then I got a job with my granddad doing some building site kind of shit. And then... Um, I just dropped a freestyle one day called Straight Rhymes. It went crazy. And then um, literally like a couple of days after the labels was calling. And then I just came back to work like a couple of days after and said, I think I'm about to get paid off rap. So I'm not, <laughs> not going to come back, you know what I'm saying? And then that was it. And it just all came from there. It was all it was just mad natural, you know what I'm saying? It was all just elevating every time, like every time mm. I dropped something. So yeah, man, it was a... It was a mad one. To be fair, my first ever video wasn't actually supposed to go out. Like, my guy just filmed it. I told him, don't put it anywhere. And he put it out. And I fell out with him for a couple of days. 
but then the video got a couple of views so then we was all right then after that that's incredible yeah, yeah. Did, were, was your family always supportive of the music stuff or they were kind of like yo what is this kid doing why is he dropping out of college and rapping like what's mm. going on here nah there was always supportive to be fair because i was doing it from high school so mom was mom was in high school doing it so it was a shock to everyone at mm. first and i was like the only guy well not the only guy in my ends there was another guy called samurai samurai's in jail now big up samurai and um he um he was like the only guy in the end spitting and obviously i wanted to do the same thing so it was like kind of a shock to the family but not in a not in a bad way it was like oh shit, you can rap like where did this come from you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and yeah everyone's been behind it ever since like not one person has has not been right and to even like being embraced by like like the gigs and like the people who've been doing it too like that's yeah yeah that I, I being so young in the game also you know i guess it like in 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 an, in a, an american equivalent it would be like something like 50 cent embracing like a like a pop smoke yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah, like 100%. when you were when you were coming up and you were being embraced by these guys too you know you just mentioned just linking with casually linking with gigs in jersey yeah what was that kind of like because i'm sure you were because you're 21 now so probably you were like what 18 back then when you probably met these guys yes yeah definitely it's like it's crazy it's one of them things like where like you literally grow up on certain people and you end up working with him or just being friends with him or whatever it's like it's, it's sick and because i feel like these people who i've got relationships with like in, like within the game it's not just because they have to fuck with man you get me like everyone genuinely fucks with man you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying so it's calm um and it's just good to know that the people that you rate rate you as well you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you're clearly doing something right and um you know yeah man it, it's sick and it's weird like you know you get to a certain point and you don't really feel like obviously you just realize that all these men are just normal people you know what i'm saying because mm. you're kind of like in their position now and you're like oh yeah shit, it just happens like this <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. so and it, so these men are all the same so yeah man like it's good i'm in, I'm in a i'm in like a a happy a happy place i suppose like uh i'm in a good position and i feel like it's just gonna keep expanding growing you know what I'm saying? yeah 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 Cause it's interesting, like when I when I was really getting into like the in college, I was really getting into like the UK music scene, and I think that it was also because at the time, like you know, drill music was getting really big over here, mm -hmm. and on, honestly, at the time, my ex was making me was it she wasn't making me she was introducing me to a lot of like uk television okay, right yeah, yeah. so i really started getting into the music and stuff like that just by happenstance of like learning about the culture and getting more into it and then you know as the drill stuff here starts getting big mm -hmm. obviously you know the brooklyn drill is heavily influenced by like uk music and uk drill and the drums and like that <laughs> type of stuff so I wanted to get your like your take on like some of the music that's made over here. Like when when you were coming up, did you kind of notice some of like like the pop smokes and the people in Brooklyn doing it? Like yeah, how tapped in were you with that? Definitely, it was. Uh, to be fair, I've always been a big rap fan anyway. In New York, of course, New yeah. York's always been like kind of like the mecca. My, yeah, yeah, for me <laughs> anyway, because my big like I'm Fifty Cent's biggest fan. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was growing <laughs> up, mine had Fifty Cent posters on the wall and that. You know what I'm saying? So. So yeah, New York's always been a thing for me, but like, yeah, the drill thing, um, my memory's so bad, but yeah, like obviously Pop Smoke, I might be wrong, but I feel like Pop Smoke was like obviously big in New York, but I feel like he was massive in the UK mm -hmm. before he was even big in the rest of America. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's just how I feel. I feel like the Welcome to the Party song, when that first came out, like the UK was- On it. <laughs> wow, like crazy on it, bro. Like that was, that was the shit in the UK. People weren't even listening to anything else really um who got on the remix for that from the uk was a skepta who skepta got on one skepta was on the remix yeah, for that skepta, right I yeah, think yeah. It was skepta and then nikki minaj and then nikki was on the other remix. Yeah, yeah, yeah i think so but um yeah the drill thing the drill thing is crazy and um like yeah like what's that guy called who's just been oh yeah k, k flock k flock yeah k flock's <laughs> going crazy right now yeah 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 um so you are you are tapped in with like even some of the newer people that are out right now yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um but yeah and i feel like obviously there's definitely some similarities with the us and the uk drill of course but you can definitely there's definitely a, a, a difference. difference as well you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so yeah it's sick it's sick to see and it's good to see like them collaborations favio's been on a couple uk tunes. right especially yeah. recently too yeah, he did yeah, the, yeah, um, yeah. oh my god what's the name of that song i couldn't stop playing it over the summer time yes yeah, thank you yeah, thank yeah, you thank yeah, you but he was on there because i remember when i first actually when i played that record i didn't even know he was on the remix at first because my boy was just showing it to me he's like yeah, yo i'm gonna yeah. play the remix um and like when i heard fabio i was like 
Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, he was in jail <laughs> was, at the time as well, I think. When he yeah, came he out. was locked yeah, up. Yeah, 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 I was like, this is sick. But I love seeing that because I'm always the type of person where I like I like seeing like the collaboration. And even when you see, you know, the Brooklyn Drill Sub being such a heavily influenced by the UK beats, it's cool when you kind of get those collaborations and you get those crossovers and you get yeah, the yeah, people yeah, yeah. showing each other love. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That, that one made sense as well when Fabio got on that one. And I know Fabio's got a couple other songs with people in the UK. I'm not going to say who, because oh, yeah, it's their yeah, business, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I've heard a couple sick things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you've also worked with like some people over here. We were talking about Offset Jim yeah. uh, not too long ago. You're on his project, and yeah, I know yeah. I heard y'all shooting the video for that, which is very exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that so much, because he's from the Bay, mm -hmm. and like, you know, when, when you say like the New York to like the UK stuff, you're like, okay, this makes sense, because the music similarities, and you know, it's right there across the pond, mm -hmm. whatever. But the Bay to the UK is kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I, I fought with it heavy, all that, all that kind of... That kind of vibe. Um, we was all, like for years. We've been on like, not necessarily people in the UK, but especially my man them. We've been on like Offset, Jim, Shoreline, Mafia, all them type of things for 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 quite a while now. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's always been a little vibe to us. Um, and I fought with a lot of Detroit music as well. Yeah, I feel like Detroit and the West Coast sound is very it's, similar to got, they have like yeah, similar like, bop to especially it, yeah. like the, the instrumentals. Like mm -hmm. there's definitely some, and I, I kind I do fuck with that vibe. But um, Offset, Jim. That was just, I think that happened just because I think I was just listening to him on my story one time. Like, I, I was in the whip, I was playing it on my story, and then he messed, like, he seen it, you know what I'm saying? He said he fucks with me and whatnot. And then, uh, yeah, and we we know each other through a guy called David Ali. Big up David. Um, David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just how it, how it works out. I've not met him yet. I'm about to meet him now, obviously, while I'm here. Yeah, because when I asked him, I'm like, yo, like, what did y'all make that song during the pandemic? And I think he said, I think he told me yes. And I was like, wow, that's so crazy. Because even if you look at you know, when I when I did um, A1 and J1, mm. those two guys, they hadn't even met each other at one point because they met over video games. and They made this incredible record. Yeah. Um, and I specifically love the video of you surprising them in the studio because yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was that was such an incredible moment because obviously they're fifteen and seven, fifteen, seventeen, if yep. I'm not mistaken. That's right. Yep. And which means that they grew up in their like you know in their earlier years listening to you, and yeah. to have that full circle moment for them and for you to get on this extremely hot record was was beautiful. Yeah, that was kind of like my aim to like just give them man. Me doing that was just kind of like let letting them know that they've got someone to like mm. kind of like look up to and i'll i kind of like you know i'll kind of like just making friends with them you know what i'm saying <laughs> basically like yeah. you know it's it's not good coming into a scene sometimes and you know there's other people and you like older people who you listen to and you know you've never heard nothing from them or even you don't speak to them or you might be in the same room as them and they don't even like chat to you or something it's like they get miss these man of kids they might be intimidated by that or they might you know what i'm saying like man are trying to feel welcome when they like come into the scene sort of thing so i just thought like man would be it would be good for 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 me to do that you know what i'm saying yeah um so yeah and and they're just good kids and like you said their story is sick how they didn't they've never even met until like they made the song and then, they met like a party app something yeah like yeah that. literally and then they made the song through tiktok and they went crazy on tiktok so then they linked up and literally like made it in the studio then and then put it out and then yeah and the song's sick the song's first incredible and foremost, so that that's what i liked about it as well i don't know if you were in here but i was telling you i gotta give a big shout out to my boy ryan um I, yes, when ryan. i showed him my when i showed him the song right it's become his new thing that whenever we we don't see each other very often but whenever we see each other and we're at a party and we're drunk he has to play the song. So okay. at my boy's wedding <laughs> a few, uh, almost a, a month and a half ago now, the night before the wedding, right? He's like half a bottle of Tito's down, right? And he looks at me, he, so, he goes, Gabe, it's time. And he plays the record. It's a big tune. Big. It's a big tune. Big, big. And yeah. it, it's sick because uh, just everything about it is sick, even how just them man at that age can make a song like that. Mm. You know what I mean? And I feel like people don't really take it in properly because they are young. But the actual song is a sick song yeah you know i mean anybody can fuck with it yeah yeah yeah, 100 percent. you're and what i find interesting about you two because back in april you took this social media break right yep and you you know i know it was for like a mental health reason like met like you know just kind of getting your mental health together and something that i think about a lot is taking these social media breaks because it's mm -hmm. like social media can be a lot yeah, yeah so yeah. how do you kind of deal with you know the social media and kind of keeping you know keeping yourself level keeping yourself you know 
It, it was more just for myself to just stay grounded and not just get lost in the sauce. The sauce, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, <clears throat> man didn't, man would like feel paranoid about posting the same outfit twice or something. It's like, oh, no, nah, that's, that's not me, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck all that. So I just came off it. And yeah, just for different reasons, to be fair, bro, you get me? I wasn't really interested and I just felt like I didn't want to post anything like, I wasn't bothered about posting a picture of myself or a selfie or anything like that. I just felt like when I'm dropping a song, I will post. And when I did, when I took that social media break, it wasn't just a social media break. I wasn't even releasing music either. Mm. So I didn't have nothing to post. I wasn't really interested. So I just thought I'd come off it. You're like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, to be fair, I just kind of like find the balance now. Like if you go on my Instagram, there's no like random post. I just post when I need to. You know what I'm saying? Like, Everything's kind of like whether it be an ad or a like I've dropped I'm dropping a subway ad, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I, I'm on my story every day. I probably put like ten stories on a day, just that that for the fans' sake. So just to show that you're still there. I'm here. That I'm saying like I said this before. Like you don't when you get like you don't realize that you're actually a part of people's lives. Like these people, these people get up and <clears throat> when I did take that social media break, people were saying shit like. Like where all oh, where have you gone? Like I'm the only thing I look forward to in the day is seeing you on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh yeah, shit. I need to be there for people as well at the same time. Right. That's that's kind of crazy to think that like all these people, you know, are like, Okay, I gotta I think I'm gonna go check your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. like you don't really realize that until you, like you said, somebody says something to you and you're like, like shit. Literally, bro, I literally put on my story like a couple of days ago. I was just joking, I was just talking shit, but I was just said, um, what did I say? I said something like, you won't see me now until 2022. I'm going to come back with a full beard and tattoos. That's what I said, but I was just trying shit. And then, um, like, I can't even explain the amount of messages I've got saying, like, no, no, Please no, don't no. leave like, me. Don't Please leave, don't, don't leave, leave don't leave. <laughs> so I was like, all right, say no more. I'll stay here. You're like, all right, you know what? I will chronicle my trip to New York City. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I saw you was posting some stuff yeah, on the yeah, city yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I, I love that. But, you know, I think about, you know, nowadays it's it's easier to have these conversations about just you know this wasn't me you know this i did this for my mental health like you were talking about with like being afraid to post the same outfit twice yeah just it's just like just getting lost in it all and yeah man just like i just kind of like lost interest for a second you know what i'm saying mm. just kind of like as simple as that you know what i'm saying i didn't really it's overwhelming yeah too. yeah it's overwhelming i wasn't dropping music so i didn't have anything to post i just thought I'll come off it and it just make, helps me concentrate in the studio more you know what i'm saying yeah instead of scrolling from instagram while i'm trying to write lyrics yeah i deleted all my dating apps help me focus <laughs> <laughs> oh god bridges yeah. looked at me cra what i'm, I'm telling what the, the, we're, we're all friends here i can tell yeah, the truth yeah. you know he deleted his instagram i deleted my dating apps how we focus i might need to download some <laughs> yeah yeah what do you look for in the ladies uh i see beauty in every woman oh that's a clip. You, you like that one? <laughs> that's the Instagram clip right that's there. The, that's the Instagram clip right there. Make sure you tag me in that yeah, one. Yeah, I'm going to tag, tag you. I'm going to tag I'm going to be like, yo, wait, yo. I, Tinder, I think you need to give this man a bag real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, Use yeah. this clip. Come on, get yeah. him a bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn right. And speaking of bags, you secured this bag with Subway, right? Yeah. And I saw, <laughs> and you know, you t you're talking about the post, and it, what is it? It said Sub. Subway, H? Subway, H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subway, H. Subway, H. Sam. Like, it, it just makes sense. It makes sense. How, so that was your own like pop up shop, or that was a subway that changed the name. Like, how, what was the, what's the collaboration there? It didn't like officially change its name, like, but for the day it did. Like, okay, it, it was it, like actual, took half the sign off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an actual subway shop. Um, man went in there, done a little performance, made some sandwiches. You made some sandwiches. I made some sandwiches. Oh God, Sheesh. yeah, I made some sandwiches. It was good as well, in my opinion. <laughs> did, did, did you get good reviews from the sandwiches? I did. Okay. Not off the man them. The man them was talking shit, saying that that there was shit, but he wasn't. Y'all was were y'all talking shit about it? Oh damn, they wasn't good. They didn't even eat it. Did you eat one? You didn't, did ya? you? You just y'all just what? Y'all just opened it and y'all was like, "This is nasty." Maybe they just didn't like the ingredients that's in my thing, but I made it well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I made it well, but yeah, so. Yeah, man done that. Um, that was lit. Big up the fans who came through. We kind of just done... It was like a competition thing, but we also just told everyone last minute that I was going to be there. And we just said, like, good luck. Hopefully you get let through the door. And if you don't, I'm sorry, kind of thing. So everyone <laughs> just, like, ran through. And then that was that. And then, um, 
yeah, big up Subway. It was kind of like something I always wanted to do. I remember when we first even blew up and that one of my little aims was to get a Subway deal. I've actually got something on my archives that I was looking at the other day in like 2019, me studying Subway. And I tagged really? him in it and was like, yo, uh, where's my deal? I know it's it. I finally got it. So yeah, there's one sits off the list. That's incredible. What are some <laughs> of the other deals on your list that you wanted? Capri Sun. Okay, Capri Sun. Yeah. Uh, Capri Sun. That's it for now. Just Capri Sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta have like your own eight, your own H like yeah, beverage. Yeah. Have you your can't, head? you can't go. Might see if you come to my house, bro. My fridge got a fridge. It's just filled with Capri Sun. That's all you need, bro. That's the one. Like some people have other drinks, but you have Capri Sun. So I you have, have high C, just stock full of Capri Sun. Capri Sun. And that's not the only thing you did. So you also performed at um this football game that they did. In oh yeah, the NFL, yeah, yeah, yeah. The NFL did a game over there. Mm -hmm. Well, it was it was the Jets versus the Hawks, right? Yes, it was. Uh, was the Hawks? Falcons. Falcons. My bad. My bad. It's basketball. My, my Falcons. Fault. Yeah, Falcons. Yeah. So what was what was that like? Because it was a halftime show too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was sick. The stadium was massive. It was lit, um, and it was good. Um, in um, how do I put it? In a like promotional sense, because I was a ninety percent of the people there was American. So, you know what I'm saying? It was good for like for my for my sake. But um yeah, it was late, it was a good day. Um first time I've been to that stadium as well. Big, big, big stadium. I know it's Tottenham it's, Stadium. It's so cool to see when the NFL goes over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I didn't know that happened. It happens like, like once every a year. Yeah, once like a every year, year they yeah, do yeah, it over yeah. there to try to promote it more in the UK. Because mm -hmm. football, football, and then football, football. You know, you know what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's cool. That, that's kind of like your own little Super Bowl over there too. Literally, bro. Yeah, literally. It was lit though. It was lit. I enjoyed myself. It was like, um, I think it was quite. Uh, how do I put this? It was quite good for a halftime show as well, in the sense of there wasn't that many people who left. You know, like to go get a drink. There was still a lot of people there, so he that said, was he like said, he said. Just so y'all know, yeah, everybody just, stuck yeah, around. Yeah, for me. yeah, because I know that's a thing in over here, in USA. If the halftime show, if it's empty, then you, you've not done a good job. So. <laughs> Yeah, I was all right. They they were rocking with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, though, to be fair, well, I think when I walked out, I couldn't hear it because I had my earpieces in. But the man there said someone said, "Hey, do you suck?" <laughs> like that, and I, but I didn't hear him. No, so one person wasn't feeling it. That, but that's one person out of like yeah, yeah. thousands and yeah, thousands. thousands. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Bro. Fuck you. Yeah. Um, new music. <laughs> so what do we got working on right now? So you got some new singles out now. Some you had a hand in directing some of the videos as yeah, well. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely. very exciting. Yeah, thank you. Um, I suppose my last um single, my last solo single was Learning Curve. That was a couple of months ago. Now that's what I. I, I had a hand in directing. Um, that was just a big madness. I recorded that in Dubai last November. So, like, literally a year ago this month. Wow. Um, Held it for a minute. Yeah, that's also when I recorded the Offset Gym verse. Okay. In du in Dubai? Yeah, drunk as, drunk as fuck in the back garden in Dubai. He sent me the song. I was like, I'll send it you back in an hour. <laughs> He's verse. like, aren't you yeah, in yeah, Dubai? Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, I done the learning curve. Blah, blah, blah. Um shot the video and the video was just basically a big explanation of the bars and what was in my mind at the time mm. basically you know what i'm saying the video speaks for itself um yeah and then other than that i've dropped a couple features since then i can't think off the top of my head i've done a a feature with my guy parcel who uh, that song's called bad that came out mm. just most recently that's a big tune um, I can't even think of what else I've done since then. I'm party, not gonna uh, party, party around my place. place. Yeah, that was, yeah. A, that was yeah. the latest one on your. That was the latest your... one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's featuring Avellino. Um, that would that one just made sense because it's on you know FIFA obviously. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's on the new FIFA, and we kind of just. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. Uh, we kind of just didn't want to let people hear it on FIFA. And then get messages every day like, "Yo, where the fuck is this song?" Yeah, why you ain't drop that shit? Yeah, yeah. So. That's what we would drop that shit basically. Um, I like how he just kind of like slightly glossed over the FIFA part. Like, yeah, he was yeah, just like, just, eh, no big deal. It's only one of the biggest. Just like games. the half, just like the halftime show yeah, thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's you just, just one of the biggest games in the world. Yeah, you, know? yeah, you just you just gotta brush it off. Sometimes. That was the song you specifically did for FIFA. Um, not necessarily. I had that song already. Okay. Um, I don't have a clue how they how they heard it or how they got it. They heard <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, they liked it, so we said, yeah, you know, put put that on there because I had one on. This isn't a floss, by the way. This is just a piece of information. It's gonna be a flex, though. It's I, going to be. I had a song on the FIFA before that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, 
there's we had a connection there, so I think they was just looking for songs. To it kind of feels like you're flexing just a little bit. Nah, don't worry, man. It sounds like you flexing just nah, a, nah, 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 a nah. little bit. Two year a record on FIFA two years in a row. Which I get a hat trick, which I get free, I know, which three. I get free after this. So with that being said, new music wise, new project on the way. What are you working oh, on right yeah. now? What's going on? So um, I'm working on the album. Um, that's going to be dropping um, next year, early next year. Two years after the last one. Two years after the last one, yeah. Well, to be fair, um, to be fair, this is my debut album. The, them other like projects, kind of thing, they were just EPs. Um, obviously, you know, in some people's eyes, it's not a difference. I, I get that as well. Uh, but yeah, I suppose this this new one, this is my debut album, um, and yeah, um, I've got my, I know what single I'm dropping for next year. That one's all getting prepared for now. I'm about to shoot a video for that one, and yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to. Um, Shock the world. Shock the world, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Debut That's album. That's the plan, wow. yeah. yeah. And I think um, this next single that I'm about to drop, um, I feel like this could be the... This can give me a good chance to like do that crossover thing in America. Not maybe all the way, but just definitely build a... Start a little fan base over here, you know what I'm saying? I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to <laughs> plug that one. I got you, bro. You'll I'm like gonna... it. I'm going to show it you after this, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, can put, we, have the spe- we literally have the speakers right here. You can yeah, play we'll it for me it. right here. Yeah, we'll run it up. Um... What was I gonna say about the album? So debut album, right? How how is this different? Because you know it, it's interesting, like being an artist. Because you know, like you said, you'll put out all these projects, and they won't be your debut albums. Will be EPs, yeah, mixtapes, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So why? So with this debut album, what do you feel like is different about this debut album that sets it apart from everything you put out before? Um, there's definitely been a lot more thought and feeling put into it all. Mm. Um. I feel like them last ones is kind of just, you know, you need a body of work to just represent yourself kind of thing, you know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, and obviously you've either, I suppose you have two options. You either drop a song, uh, like a song (laughs) every month, you know what I'm saying? Or two song, whatever. Or you kind of like, you know, plan your releases and release a body of work in it. It's either one or the other, you know, when I'm trying to introduce myself to people or, you know, people have met me for the first time and I'm like, yeah, I'm an artist. My name's H. And then man say, oh, what have you got out there? And I say, well, I've got three singles. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh. So obviously you've got to, you know, put things out there. And it's also like just a stamp of time. You know what I'm saying? Every time I see my certain, my old EP covers, it always reminds me of a certain time of life and whatever. So yeah, that was just like one of those things. But now I feel like... Yeah, my album, it's just more important. It's more of an insight to me. Obviously, I feel like the general public have got a certain... Um, perception? Cer- certain perception of me. Um, but I know that the stuff that isn't released... Like, they haven't even seen half of it or heard half of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like my problem... It's not necessarily a problem, because I, def- I definitely always fuck up the club. Always. <laughs> but, so then my problem is that... People don't know me too well. Mm. All the things, the things they do know is quite general things. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I feel like, yeah, certain things need to be known on the album. I'm still gonna fuck up the club on the album though. Right, don't you gonna have some surprises on there. Hopefully, you have some, 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 some people from New York there. You feel me? Yeah, fingers I'm gonna, crossed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna manifest that for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me crossed. who you, tr- you tell me who you want to connect with. I'll see who I can definitely who I can connect you 100%, with. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. Get some drill shit on there. Yo, have some drill shit on there. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're on the same label as K Five, Brit. <laughs> she like she like what do you want me to do <laughs> like what do you want me to do but this is all very exciting and i'm i'm super excited that you came here to to, to kick it with me today Respect, it's, it's like 10 30 right now when while we're here so i appreciate you being with me here so no late problem, bro. um it was an honor to have you you know just be here man I, i've been i've been watching for a while and i've just you know no i appreciate it bro. i never thought we'd get out of this pandemic and i'll be able to chop it up with some yeah, artists yeah, yeah. from across the pond like this yeah, yeah definitely I'm, I'm i'm due to be here a lot more often hopefully so hopefully yeah yeah yeah. hopefully yeah. next time that we do this it'll be after a sold out show 100 percent, 100 percent. i feel like that's the plan i feel like if everything goes to plan you know what i'm saying we've definitely got certain things mapped out already if it goes how we want it to go Word. then yeah, man, we're out here. You know what I'm saying? I'll definitely be a familiar face on this 
on the streets of New York. I'm so, excited, <laughs> bro. I'm excited. Well, look, congratulations on everything. I'm looking forward to the debut album. I'm looking forward to everything you have Thank you. coming up. Um, before we go, let the people know what they, they got to know. Anything else you want to let your fans know? This camera right over here, my brother. This one here. I'm just going to say, if you ain't got me on the gram, hit me on the gram. H-A-I-T-C-H. Music's fire. Check my Spotify, Apple Music, all of that. Um, and yeah, I'm out here. You get me. Album next year. New single next year. It's all love. Manchester representing 0161. I could talk for days. It's all love. You get me? Well, there you go. H on the radar. Go follow him. Go run up the music. Debut album 2022. My guy, much love. Thank Appreciate you very you, much, bro. Brother. Love, love, love.